It is chilly here in the great state of Nebraska, so I put my gloves on and I have to use my nose to stop and record. Yay! Heck gone! Ooh, Draper head. My favorite. This looks like... Yeah, it is the FD2. We'll watch this power pole. And the road. It's always best when you're trying to do something, like me trying to hook up my head in my combine, to have somebody following around you with a camera watching your every move. You can do this 10 times perfectly, and then one guy with a camera is like, oh! <laughs> Incredible maneuverable ability. Maneuverability? We'll see if he got it lined up right the first time. Come here, get over here. Hey, sweetheart. Nelly, what do you think? What are your thoughts?
good. It was difficult for me to walk backwards. I thought I was going to get run over there for a minute, but we practice safety out here on the farm. And you got a driver with a visible cab, rotates 270 degrees, I believe. Somebody check my math on that one. So you can see pretty much all the way around you all the time. That cab can go up and down, left and right. Truly amazing. One thing I wanted to mention, when we were out here planting this field with the Nexat, with the wheeled machine, they left guest rows about 48 inches wide. And I thought that was going to be a concern, especially in soybeans, but throughout the year, these soybeans actually canopied over and I had no weed issues where the wheel was driving. And now with a 50 foot wide draper, they'll be able to harvest everything behind the wheels and clean this up. I believe we planted this at 18 rows, 18 row planter, 30 inch spacing. set the machine maybe it's already ready to go we'll take a look and see what it's doing behind us here is the inside of the left of the rotor we've got two rotors in here when the crop comes in the middle it gets split out to either side and here's the sieve you guys might recognize this looks very familiar to like a lot of different combines to have fans blow up underneath and clean all of the uh, residue and let the soybeans fall down and then go into the grain tank which is 950 bushel grain tank so what it's doing is the idea the theory is the crop doesn't have to change directions it's coming into the feeder house it will go that crop mat into the into the cylinder to get fresh. I believe is how it's run. So they don't not running the spreaders right now. We're checking for grain loss, and then we'll make adjustments. Like every good pass, your first pass through, you want to go a little ways. Make your adjustments. Go make your adjustments. They do have a little device here that drops a pan as you're going, so then you it'll catch any seeds that it's finding, and that's one way, that bushel plus system, to help make your adjustments. shut off the choppers and the spreaders so they make a few rounds not a few rounds go a couple go 100 feet and then check the settings make adjustments and then they can turn on all the choppers and distributors
auger's out, and I've run the grain cart long enough to know the auger out means they need to, the combine operator needs to dump, but it's been a while since I've run the grain cart, and also, I don't know how many rows to be close to or away from this new machine, so we are going to have to learn on the fly. And as always, on your first run for YouTube, you just start filming, and we get to see all of the, uh, however Kale runs, if it's right, wrong, or in different. He's got this thing dialed in now, getting less than 0.02% uh, out of the, um, onto the ground, uh, 0, 0.0 out of the rotor. So our losses, they've got that thing dialed in, our losses have pretty much gone to zero. A little bit, uh, we're getting a little bit of header loss, which is probably just because these beans are super dry and are absolutely ready to harvest. And uh, so only header loss at this point. Remind me to ask what the unload rate is of this machine. I can see he does have a flapper dapper so he can adjust the pitch. So I do not have to be specifically or correctly line up. And he is right there with the cab. One of the great things about the next ad is that cab. He can see everything that he's doing with the head and into the grain cart. And then he can just signal me <laughs> from right there. I probably should give him a radio for radio communication conversation. But Pita is a professional. He is dialed in. How many, any guesses, how many bushels that we have? in that tank. These should be pretty good beans, even though they're going to be, I don't know, what are the guesses? Seven, eight percent moisture. They've probably been ready for a couple weeks now. Awesome. And of course it's soybeans, so the uh, grain cart operator does a lot of sitting. There's not as much volume in soybeans as there is in corn. And so corn for the grain cart operator, it's a heavy, heavy pace. Soybeans, um, it's just a lot more relaxed.